Hey everybody, I just wanted to do another quick video on Super Display because I love this thing. This is a great app, uh, and I think I showed you some really basics about it last time, but let me go into a little more uh, in depth. Not too much, I want to keep this short, like 15 minutes. Um, so here's my Tab S6 Lite, mid-range tablet, under 300 bucks right now in the US. Um, that is my main uh, laptop for content creation. This is a uh, Samsung uh, Notebook 9 Pro from like 2017, 18? No, 18, I think. So that's a Core i7 8550U. It's an Ultrabook, 15 watt processor. But most importantly, it has the Wacom AES, no, uh, Wacom EMR, very important, EMR, not AES, digitizer in it. This is the pen from it, actually, the Silo pen, right? It's same thing as S Pen uh, using the uh, Wacom UD protocol. Uh, and frequency, so it's a perfect uh, way to show you um, how uh, this app behaves in comparison to natively and through the super display is basically you know sending via USB cable here in this case. Um, you can also do it through Wi-Fi, but I'm just gonna my Wi-Fi is not that great, so my router is kind of acting weird. So I'm gonna just do it through USB here. So let me first connect. I have the the Windows driver installed on the laptop already, and I have the app here, which I don't have to actually engage. I just have to connect the cable, and it's all automatically gonna recognize the connection, and it's gonna ask, "Do you want to do it?" Sure, I want to do it. Yes, okay. And it's gonna disconnect it, and you have to just tap, and now you have. Uh, super display running you can see that it's the same thing running what's over here it's running here and it's scale because the resolution of the laptop is different that's the 1080p screen 1920 by 1080 this is um, 2000 by 1200 screen so it's gonna scale there's gonna be a little bit of black border situation here but uh, you can also use this as an extended uh, display instead of right now it's cloned right it's duplicate it, if you do the extended, you can actually set the resolution. I share that later uh, to whatever you want. But um, even though it's not running native resolution, it's very crisp. I don't know if you can see that. Let me just try to get closer. Uh, it's perfectly, uh, you know, crisp. I'm not complaining about the image quality that's on here. And this is like the standard uh, preference. Uh, there, I think you can actually get it to be even more. Uh, better image quality in the settings, but I didn't even mess with that. Okay, so as I showed you last time, um, the touch works, but there's a little button that comes up. It's, I have it moved down here. Right now it's set to just use the UI. Um, you can also click it off, so it's locked right now. So touch does not work for those people who just prefer the pen. Uh, I call them triglodytes, but it's okay. Uh, if that's your preference, you, that's what you prefer. You can also set it so that the touch does not control the UI element through, uh, via computer, but the app UI so that you can scale this whole thing to the desired, uh, I don't, you know, like if you want a little better fit or, you know, you zoom in or whatever, you can do that. I find that not as useful. So I'm gonna put it back into the controlling the UI element so I can do the multi-touch because this is 2020. Let's uh, act like it. Um, and so, let's see. I have my chalk brush. This is 6,000 by 4,000 canvas. Got a 50, I think it's 50 pixel chalk brush. And as you can see, I already showed you this in the last video, it's very responsive. Now, how responsive compared to native? Uh, let's see, it's so blown out. Okay, here we go. So that's sort of the speed running natively. And let's show you running through super display. If I didn't do a side by side, I really couldn't even tell that it's slower, but it is like imperceptibly slower. Slight dis uh, delay obviously, because it's gotta go from the Windows computer, the app through the computer OS, Send, uh, sending display out to 
this Android tablet, so I had to go through two OSs and to the to the app to display the result of what the, this computer is actually processing. But it's really good. <coughs> Excuse me. Like no complaints. I can draw with this at full speed and I would not fucking complain. It's good. It's good stuff. If I do this, uh, if I do this, then I, I kind of noticed that slight difference in immediacy. But, I mean, if you have to do A and B comparison like this, it's not even worth talking about it, in my opinion. It's, it's, it's fucking fast. It's really good. So, uh, just want to show you that. Um, so, we know that touch works. Touch is being passed off without a problem. We know that pen pressure... Uh, let me, there you go. Uh, let me clear the campus. We don't have much time. Come on, 15 minutes. Let's keep this. Okay, so you can do light and you can do dark. You know, so pressure works fine. What about um, tilt? So I got a brush that uh, uses tilt. So I'm going to do upright. I'm going to do lay down so it's bigger. See that? Tilt works. So I don't know what more you want from this app. For 15 bucks, you're getting pressure, touch, tilt with minimum latency is super usable, right? And you know, I, I definitely think you should connect with the USB. It's 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 a better way to go because it's gonna be more immediate than Wi-Fi. And also if you're in a public place, you don't want to use Wi-Fi. You're basically sending data through something that can be easily sniffed and intercepted. So let's, no, you don't have to, you don't want to do that. Um, you can also, let me show you. Oh, before, uh, actually, let me show you. Uh, so this is right now using the Microsoft Tablet API. Uh, the options instead of WinTab works better, but even like, I think, I'm not sure if it's WinTab only, but let's uh, try ZBrush. Um, Obviously, this S Pen is going to give you, it's going to work right there, right? Uh, okay, and now on through Super Display. Yep, it works. So, and touch works. So ZBrush, check. And Blender works also. Uh, Photoshop works. Uh, I don't know what more you need from uh, your content creation needs for 2D and 3D. That's, those, those are two big apps. And let me show you that you can also, oh, yeah. You go to another desk, desktop here and let me uh, take this off without uh, making the video go wonky. But so right now it's, it's being, the display is being cloned, right? And if I go here, right, so I can come here and say, instead of duplicating, let's extend. And then, boom, you have second monitor situation. So um, the most difficult part would be taking this thing and I would need a mouse for this to be, uh, so let me get the trackpad here, grab that, uh, yikes, ah, uh, no, it flipped, hold on, hold on, hold on, all right, well, fine, so right now, oh, I must have set the extended display at a Okay, let's show that. Um, so I think I have it set. So monitor two is orientation is portrait flipped. Okay. So here we go. I got ZBrush on that, and we got 
Clip Studio here, and imagine in this scenario that you want to draw something that's more like, uh, you know, a portrait, you know. Then this this would be great, and because it's only ten inch, you can flip it around, and uh, you know uh, you can do portrait, you can do landscape. It's controlled through windows, so you can do that very very easily. And again, obviously, um, more stuff you have open, and bigger brush it is, it's going to be more laggy, but. No, oh, sorry, it's blowing out again. Sorry, it's hard to see. Very, very usable. Perfectly usable. So, just imagine, uh, you know, if 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 you don't have like a pen-abled two-in-one laptop, you just got a just decent, capable laptop. All you have to carry is, uh, you know, a Samsung tablet with the S Pen in it, and boom, you have multi-monitor content creation situation that works with a lot of apps. So, you know, I, I tried AstroPad on my friend's uh, iPad before, and I feel that this feels more responsive to me. And I think it also has better uh, compatibility with software um, because you, you got Photoshop covered, you got Clip Studio covered, and you know, the uh, modern UI apps with the uh, Microsoft Tablet API should be covered, no problem. Blender covered, um, you know, and uh, I don't, I don't know what else you really would sort of need unless you got some weird app that's like legacy, really old app. You should probably move on. You should, you know, try to take advantage of things like multi-touch and whatever. So, um. I'm just super, super impressed with Super Display. I, I gave him my 15 bucks when I tested it out. I was like, yeah, you, you, you got it. You, you got my money. Take all my money. Well, take my 15 bucks at least. Um, I also emailed the guy and said, please make it for Windows. So, could, so imagine like taking 15-inch uh, Wacom uh, EMR-powered laptop like that to a big... Uh, desktop situation at a client's or even at your home and just plug that in and using that 15 inch you know workspace to do the work that's fantastic too uh, but you know I found that the 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 app is being done by one guy in Finland and you know he's got his hands full obviously with the the Android app and you know the Android app I mean even the last like two iterations or so, I, I tried out like you know, a couple versions ago. I get I guess the the older version was much laggier. I it was using it on my I tried it on my Note Nine. I was like, ah, oh, this is not usable because uh, Note Note Nine actually has a better processor than this Tab S6 Lite. And I was like, ah, oh, no, it's it's too laggy. Uh, it's it's nice, but it's it's just not good enough for me. But then when somebody said I don't have any lag with my experience, and I tried it out. Uh, on the newest version of Tab S6 Lite, it, it was great. So I was like, wow, he made such great improvements in just one or two versions. And, you know, he's he's doing a lot of, obviously, work to make the software even better. I think he added Tilt support recently. So, great. So he's constantly making changes. This is one guy doing a fantastic job. So, you know, I, I, I would say at least go download the app from Google Store if you have Tab S6 six or seven or six light and even or uh, tab a with s pen check it out try it out because you're not gonna even if like old tab s uh, tab a with s pen that has like two gigs of ram would work great because you're offloading all the horse horse part to the laptop right so you can you can have a giant you know file with as long as your laptop's capable all this is doing is just offloading the video and, the and just passing off the tablet information and video information. So it's a fantastic scenario. Okay, I almost had a 15 minute mark, so I'm gonna have to end this. So download it, check it out for yourself, try it out. 
you got three days to try it out before you you have to spend the fifteen bucks. But I think the guy deserves your fifteen bucks, especially if you have, if you own an S Pen device like this on the Android side, and it just makes the whole situation way more useful than previously before this app. So um, I encourage it, and uh, thank you for watching. Uh, see you next time.